going to be a quick video, maybe one or two minutes. I just want to show you guys, I'm actually having trouble. Um, the Corvette's shutting off again. And uh, I did some research, and apparently this is a really common problem. So let me show you a little bit about what I'm working with. So we got the fuse box off completely. Um, and really, the only thing that holds your fuse box to the car is these little, um, these little snaps right here. And then the whole thing will pop off. But there's these four bolts <clears throat> that actually hold it to these four bolts in the wiring harness. <clears throat> and then you've got the, the main battery supply. So disconnect your battery, take that bolt off. And when you undo those four bolts, the whole, fuels, the whole fuse box will come out. But here's the issue. This is the fuel pump relay right here. It's number uh, 50, number 55, yeah, the fuel pump relay, which is this guy right here. So I've actually burned up two of these. Um, you can see they're kind of discolored. And uh, they were actually hot enough to burn your hand whenever I took them out. So I started doing some research, and um, some people were saying that this this thing will actually arc. Well, if you look really close, this one right here is actually melted. Um, and I took that pin out. I've got a little D-pin tool. It's just like a, a wire with a loop, and then I, I ground kind of like a knife edge on the end of it. Um, but basically, you... Uh, lift this up these green things slide out and then whenever you depress that little bitty point right there if i get my little d-pin tool and uh, show you what i'm talking about right there if you move that thing this will slide out after you've gotten this green thing out so what happened was this is actually it's actually spring loaded um, this is actually the one that I've tapped all my gauges and stuff to um, because that's the uh, the relay signal when the fuel pumps hot that is 12 volts and somehow or another I guess whenever I was doing that um, I, I mashed down this kind of spring loaded part and it it was actually almost completely flat so what I tried to do was reform it so that it's it's more um, round and then I, I test fitted it with the fuse box to make sure it was a snug connection so hopefully that fixes the issue I went and bought me a handful of those micro relays these things from eBay so I've got a couple of these a uh, couple of these relays spares now um, so they're GM relays same exact part number same exact everything so basically to put this thing back, you just have to make sure all your bolts line up and that you get this guy, which is really hard to do with one hand, but basically it just drops on there. And, and I've got another video up whenever I was doing my gauges where you can see what's going on. But basically that's it. And make sure my new... So it pops in, pops in, pops in, pops in, that's it. And then you basically screw these bolts down. Um, and that's really all that holds your fuse box in there. The actual fuse box itself, not the bracket for it. Um, so I always tighten these things down and then kind of rock it, rock it up this way and then pull it really tight with my hand. So uh, another problem with the Corvette halting, pro halting progress on getting it finished but I've been dealing with this for about three weeks now it just started out of the blue it'll literally shut off when I'm driving down the road or whenever the motor gets hot whenever I get in there it won't start at all so if this doesn't work I'm gonna go to the junkyard and uh, find me a fuse box off of General Motors that has the same type of connectors and cut some of them off and uh, I'll solder a new connector on there if that one is just too far to form. Not exactly sure how this happened, but apparently other people um, are having the same problem even though they never touched their fuse box. Like one guy saw on a 2012 bone stock car and never even messed with it. He was having the same exact problem. But his relay was black. 
it was completely black all the way around where he, it just got fried. Um, so I have no idea. And I know mine isn't just the relay because I just put brand new relays in it and it's still doing the same thing. So it's got to be something else. So let's see what happens.